Yo, what's up you guys? It's me Ryan here and today I'm bringing out a brand new video. If you guys are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and joining the army. So today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys my friend Tyler. He's behind the camera and I'm going to be showing you guys his little brother's strange addiction. He's addicted to Funko Pops. So we're going to go check that out. We're going to interview him. We're going to see what, why he collects them, um, how much they are. See, maybe he's stacked up with money and he just, he just doesn't know it yet. So we're going to get into that and I'll see you guys. So we just arrived at their house. Hello. Hello, man. Come in. Yes. Where would you like me to put my pantoufles? <laughs> Alright, well, you can show us. Oh, yes. This is my Funko Pop collection. Up here. We'll give you time to tidy up the place. Oh no. <laughs> Action comedy. Come in. Come in. May I may come in? Yeah. So. Do you guys Wipe have your any feet. questions or anything? Um, we'll start off with an interview. How okay. about that? Okay. Here is one of my. All right. Would you like to record the interview or would you like to set the camera down, mister? I'll set it down. All right. So, um, if you could screw your chair in. Okay. Sir, may I have your whiteboard so I may take some very thorough notes when the quiz comes? Sure. The no, the no. Yes, thank you. Wow. Okay. Question number one. Yes. Do you believe this is your strange addiction? Uh, Yes, I believe this is my strange Please addiction. Please explain why you feel it's your strange addiction. <laughs> Feels like a school test right now. <laughs> Please explain We're why. We're getting graded. Oh, okay. So, I, I really like collecting Funko Pops. As you can see, I have a bunch. I also have some inside my closet. I have a lot of these, and I just really think it's cool, like, collecting them. I don't really, I, I don't play with them at all. I just think it's really neat collecting. Like... Some pops I know are sort of like an investment. Like, I bought this Jeffrey Funko Pop um, from Toys R Us. I'll even get him. Toys R Us? We don't have that anymore. Yeah, this was 2017. Whoa, wait, is that a cereal? Yeah. We can taste test some cereal if you want. I have another What the heck? Right there. Yeah. We can taste test some cereal here. So anyways, back to the Jeffrey. So this I bought for a solid $15, $10 plus $5 shipping. And now this is worth, I think, $100. So most of these pops- You think it's sort of like uh, expensive because Toys R Us went out of business? Um, I feel like in some ways, yes. But in some ways also, be, also because Jeffrey people love. And I remember you used to find this everywhere, like this pop everywhere. Nobody really like cared for it. Here's like a little close. Like that average everyday pop. Yeah. And then eventually Toys R Us is like we're closing down. And by then most Toys R Us had just like stopped sending them out, stopped like producing them, so. Excuse me, sir, if you could sit down or the next part for the shot. Okay. So here are the notes that I took. Um, Bunko, number one. Okay. Cool, okay. <laughs> and then pops. Yes. And last one, graph. <laughs> I didn't know how to spell Jeffrey, so I just put. I didn't know how to spell Jeffrey or giraffe, so I just put graph. It's giraffe for short. Okay. Next, Wes. <laughs> Next question. What is the most expensive pop that you've ever bought? Bought. Okay. So most expensive pop I've ever bought, I don't really buy to I don't buy higher priced ones, but I think I, I usually trade for it like at pop mates. And I think the most I've ever spent on one was I traded one of my pops and then I gave them fifty dollars for this Bigfoot pop. You can only get it in Washington and they only made two thousand pieces. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. So, I actually got no notes on that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, 
So, question number <laughs> number three. Yes. What is your favorite pop? Oh, this is your most favorite pop. Is it classified information? <laughs> I don't want my pops to hear. This is really tough for what my favorite Funko Pop is. So this is like my whole collection. So I'd probably have to say my favorite pop would have to be my Jollibee Funko Pop. And what is that? Um, Jollibee is a Filipino. Can you please show it to the camera? Um, yes, yes, please. Um, Jollibee is a Filipino fast food company. There's even one in Los Angeles currently. This pop you can actually only get inside the Philippines. And my grandparents, well, I made a whole story time video on this. Well, my grandparents. Yes, I will leave this it. link down below. If yes, and like, by the so. way, my YouTube channel is Funko Fun Addict 03. Okay, so, Mr. Funky Fanatic. Yes, um, sir. <laughs> what is the most you would ever pay for a pop? The most I would ever pay? Yes. Like, not like one that I already bought, right? Anything. It um, could be like a pop that's like a million dollars. Most I would ever pay for a pop is one hundred dollars. One hundred dollars. Have you ever paid one hundred dollars? No, for a pop? I've only paid fifty. Like I said earlier. Okay, so my notes are um, that cash flow. Okay, <laughs> got. He wants to pay one hundred dollars for a certain pop. Um, do you feel that you will be collecting more often? Excuse me, sir. Can you stop spinning in your chair? <laughs> Sorry, sir. Needed to put it back. Um, what was the question? Do you feel that you will continue collecting pops? Um, yeah, I, I really like the hobby for now. I, I really like it. I, I think I'm gonna... Can you take us on a tour later of your pop collection? Oh, definitely. I'll tell you which ones. I mean, I know some I, like, got for two dollars. And then some I got for, like, fifty. Wow. Some were worth, t like, ten dollars. Some were worth, like... 300 so it's crazy. <laughs> wow. That is a lot of money for an action figure. It's not an action figure, it's a collectible. For a doll. <laughs> <laughs> Cut the commercial. Okay. okay. Next, question. About how much money do you feel that you have spent on pops? Oh, uh, this is pretty tough. I'd say maybe like... Just exaggerate so I can use it for clickbait. Uh, 500. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> no, you spent way more than 500. Okay, that's way more than 500 though. Uh, okay, Literally, sure. I think this row is worth 500. <laughs> but how much money do you feel that you've spent on Pops? If you sold yeah, them, um, if you have them currently... Is your parent uh, favorite? 1,000. 1,000? Actually, no, 700, 700. Seven, really? Yeah. I feel that it would be more. Cause look no, that, that mom and dad, or that, that that your parents paid for. Yeah, that your parents paid for and everything. Yeah, I'd say 700. Really? There's no way. There's even. no way. I feel like just this. You can just say 2,000, all right? Just say, like, just say like a million or something. Uh, all right. Say 2,000. It's 1,000 1, for the clickbait. What question is this? I don't know. There's two more questions. Question unknown. <laughs> question unknown. Question unknown. Mr. Funky Fanatic. Yes. Um, Funko Fanatic 03. Yes, Funky Fanatic. Um, about how many pops do you have? Oh. Um, I'd say I probably have over 600. 600 Funko Pops. Yeah, that seems about right. 600. And your collection costs a thousand, so that means each one costs like a, a dollar and twenty. <laughs> Okay, if you have about 600, that quick maths does not add up. <laughs> that would mean that each doll is a doll, and that each <laughs> figurine is about a dollar each. Now you've just said that that one's around $50. Are you lying on my shirt? <laughs> Are you just a fraud? <laughs> See, if you look at here, is it showing on the camera? Okay. See, so, question unknown. Pops. <laughs> this is my face right now. You know that. 
that woo face. Okay? <laughs> so it pops. 600. Now, if we just erase all of this. Okay. 600 pops. 600 pops. Okay? Can't really see it, but alright. That's fine. Uh, excuse me, sir. Can you please get your hands off the camera? 600 pops. Okay? So, that would mean. He says that he spent around $700 worth of pops. I'm done here. You know what? This interview was a mess. Let's just go. Let's yeah. go, camera guy. Let's go. No, I want to play with pops. <laughs> okay, fine. Do you have anything you'd like to say? Oh my gosh, can you film right <laughs> Okay. Um, so, I next question. Most expensive? Like, what it's worth? What? Do you feel your net is worth? Your net worth? No, your net is worth. What's my net? Your net's worth. <laughs> uh, two dollars. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. My cameraman loves to see pops. <laughs> He's um, just so ready to look at all these I'm pops. I'm gonna take all right, the, the interviewee. <laughs> the interviewee <laughs> has just taken over the camera. <laughs> All right, so uh, show us. Uh, we can obviously see that you're a very organized young. Fella. Yes, <laughs> this is my expensive Funko Pop. The cereal box is signed by um, Funko's current CEO Brian Mariotti. Which one? This one? Um, no, it's this one. This one. See the signature. Or is the cereal good? Um, I haven't tried it yet, so you if haven't you want tried to do a taste it. Test? Okay, okay. Um, so then we have. Oh my gosh. Uh, like Domino's. So this is my friend's Funko Pop. And then this Funko Pop, Director Freddy, he's worth $300. $300. $300. So how much do you think, like, with, um, how much do you think all the pops would cost? Like, new prices. Not that you paid for, but just, if you were to if sell I them all. If I sell my whole collection right now, yeah. I could probably get eight grand out of it. Eight grand. That's a car down payment. <laughs> Let me Let's go buy our Range Rover, Let Tyler. Let's go buy the Range Rover. <laughs> All right, so if you want, we can go taste test the cereal now. Show us your collection first, Mr. Okay. Mr. Pop. So these are some displays that I stole from Target. No way. Did you actually? <laughs> no way. These are some displays. <laughs> these? <that> no, these. <laughs> no way. So, okay, so. This is Funko cereal. So. Okay, are these all your pops, Mr. Mr. Oh, Funky no, Pop? Oh, some inside my closet. Oh, may we see this? May garage. we see this? Jeez. Uh, hold on, let me go get, let me go open the doors. As you guys can see, he is the, he is very organized. Um, very, very organized. So, over here. Okay. <laughs> just, grab, have, just grab my camera, that's alright. We have right. a bunch of Funko Pops. And why aren't these on display? Because I don't have enough room. Then we have a bunch of Funko Pops in there. Oh, amazing. And then we have a bunch of boxes. Jeez. What? I like that mechano robot. Alrighty. Okay, so, wait, what? Is there anything else you'd like to see me know? Um. So, what is your rarest pop? Um, director. For actually, now thinking about it, my rarest pop would have to be Jollibee. But he isn't worth as much as Director Freddy. It's pretty easy to find Director Freddy's on eBay. What's a Director Freddy? Um, Freddy Funko is Funko's mascot. And they gave that out at their premiere of their documentary. I didn't actually go like <laughs> that. <laughs> but I changed it up. I don't know what that was, Mr. Cameraman, but you seem to be <laughs> slacking a little bit. Okay, hold up. Let me just make a note to myself. <laughs> Hire new <laughs> camera man A S A P. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna just write it on the board and then you can read it, okay? Right. Your Did you do the right? You're a fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, guys, we eating good today. <laughs> look at this. Oh my goodness, doesn't that just look delicious? <laughs> wow. You take the first me me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mr. Cameraman, go ahead. Taste it. Oh. Why are they stuck together? <laughs> I don't feel so. Good. Are these artificial? Like. 
<laughs> is it just plastic? <laughs> they like cardboard. I didn't know what cardboard tastes like. It tastes like an icy. Really? Like the icy without like the icy part. I think they made this out of defected Funko Pops. <laughs> <laughs> tastes so. I want it. You guys want to taste some? <laughs> I'm gonna, it looks like a cherry. Why? Why does it actually look like that? Try eating. Look at this. Hold up. Wait. How do the beauty gurus do it? Look at this, guys. Doesn't even look real. I'm kind of scared. Eat <laughs> it. Let me get some more. Ethan. Ethan, give me some more. <laughs> My new favorite cereal. <laughs> Listen, let me get some more. I'm addicted. <laughs> My friend's strange addiction. <laughs> Here you go. My, my friend's strange addiction, plastic cereal. <laughs> this is disgusting. Yeah, that actually tastes horrible. I don't think we're supposed to eat these. <laughs> it's kind of good. Do people eat these? So we've just confronted Tyler's brother. <laughs> Make sure to sub to me. <laughs> okay, subscribe to a funky fanatic. <laughs> Put my link in the description. Wow, jeez. And I hope you lose your bot so you can buy it. Oh! Wow. Oh, wait, tell them this is before the fight. Alright, guys, so. This is before the fight. I just figured I'll shoot a little video. But no, he doesn't want me to win the fight, so. You know what? I'm ready. Thank you guys all for watching. If, I hope you guys did enjoy. This is a pretty weird video. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all this. Look at all this. If you guys want to see me expose Tyler for his strange ketchup addictions, <laughs> then comment that down below. So thank you guys all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out. Peace.